Hey, welcome back to the third part and final video of the Ursa Mini Pro versus the Ursa Mini 4.6K. Um, unfortunately, I have horrible news and I feel really stupid, but I did the test and I didn't do a black sensor calibration on the cameras before I shot it. And so the test was inconclusive. So what I did was I tried to go back and do a color calibration on just the Ursa Mini 4.6K because I didn't have the Pro anymore. And again, it didn't match and it was inconclusive. So I'm really sorry. I do have some footage that you can watch uh, between the two. Uh, here's the Pro and the 4.6K. I wasn't able to do a sensor calibration for the blacks on the Pro. Um, it was a feature that I didn't realize was there. Um, Blackmagic added it into an update. I didn't notice it. Um, and then somebody pointed it out to me when I released the video originally, because I did release the video. And then somebody was like, well, it's totally inconclusive. This, this test means nothing. And I was like, oh, this test does mean nothing. So that being said, for those of you who don't know, there is a calibration that you can do with the Ursa Mini 4.6K, which gets rid of the blue tint. And I would highly recommend doing this calibration before each of your shoots. I ha I did it once and then maybe a month later I did it again and I saw a noticeable difference. So I decided this is just something that I'm gonna do standard before I do a shoot, do a black sensor calibration on the camera before you do a shoot. Uh, you make sure you have your lens cap on um, either the front cap or the lens cap on your lens. Um, it's real simple. It's just in the setup. You go into the settings, you click, you click the button, it takes a few minutes, it calibrates, boom, your blacks look normal again. It's, it, and it works like a charm. It's gorgeous. My gut says if you calibrate both cameras, they will match basically the same. The other thing that the black, um, sensor calibration does is it helps get rid of the fixed pattern noise. Um, huge difference between the two when you do a color correction of one that hasn't been calibrated versus one that has. Again, I'm really sorry to those that have subscribed and were waiting for this video. A lot of you commented, uh, yeah, I'm really sorry. I, I totally messed up. I didn't calibrate the camera and it's, I'm really sorry. I was super bummed. I really want to know, but I'm hoping in the future I get to rent the camera again. I just haven't had a chance to rent the Ursa Mini again. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. I'm gonna pretend like I'm working again.